so you're still thinking of me. What is up, y'all? You just see if I did that. Mm, leave that in mind. Yeah, new stuff. Anyway, I am back with a new video. Today, I'm going to be talking about why I hate binding and issues of it and all that jazz. So, yeah. So, basically, binding, for those who don't know what it is, for those that aren't aware of term transnology or terminology in that sense, um, binding is basically the act of having a material or some type of fabric that compresses your chest so that it's flat. And I will give a demonstration of what my binding looks like. And here we go. So here's my binder. This is a GC2B binder. Um, I got a skin tone one, but it obviously does not match my skin tone fully. They have a darker shade. I didn't get it. So there you go. So this is basically made of, to check the label, it is made of 80% nylon, 20% spandex, and then 80% cotton, 20% polyester. It's just to hand wash it and then hang it to dry. Um, this is a medium from the tag from what it says. So yeah, so basically this is my binder. It fits well because I used to be a small in this size and then I went up when I got to college because I was eating so much that my shoulders got wider and like my stomach expanded. So the way my binder was fitting me was kind of crushing my sides. I didn't need that. It wasn't a cute look. So there we go. But yeah, this basically is what I was using for almost two years at this point, I think, since I heard of the brand. Um, again, it is a trans-based company for trans folk. I like it personally, but I don't like binding itself. That's just a thing. I don't, I didn't mind binding at first when I first came out and started transitioning, but over time I realized I just hate binding. Like I hate wearing the tight material. It's super cold in the winter time and then it gets sticky and irritable and itchy in the summer. You don't really know what to do in the winter. Well, you don't really know what to do in the spring in that term and just not a good look, not a good look. So, not my favorite part of buying it. I also don't like how the fact that buyers are so expensive, they're like 35 or like 60, depending on the company, if it's international shipping or not. And that can kind of just add up a lot. If people don't always have the money, you may have to trade between getting a new binder or having an old binder in that sense, and that should be the case. There are companies that do binder giveaways. I can probably find some and link them down below in the description. Um, in any case, I gave some binders away to my mentee, Joey, and some to Elliot at the time when I had them. Um, but for the most part, I just buy binders with money I save up in that case. And yeah, I don't like it. It hurts my back, it hurts my sides, and just like, it doesn't, it gets me compressed, but even well, like a baggy shirt or baggy shirt and like a fitted tank top can get me compressed just as much in that sense. Um, and with testosterone, my chest has slowly like shrunk in, but not fully in any sense. So that. And yeah, I just, I'm not a fan of binding. I don't personally don't like it. If I didn't have to, I wouldn't mind. But I did at one point or another, and it's not the worst, but it's not my preferable option, which is why I'm getting strap surgery June 19th. I'm really excited for that. So hopefully I won't have to bind anymore after that. So yeah, you boy is looking forward to that. So yeah, in that case, I'm not a fan of binding. If you are, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and I will see you later.